Pittsburgh real estate investors. If you are looking to make money on investment property, long-term buy and holds, you have to watch this episode. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. If you're looking to learn how to invest in real estate. If you're looking for an opportunity to invest in real estate and work with people that are going to cut it to you straight, give you the good, the bad, the ugly, you are in the right friggin' place. Subscribe, follow, hit us up if you want to work together. Give us your number. We'll call you. We'll talk to you about giving you videos like we're doing today for my Pittsburgh-based client, Amalia. Amalia, you are an existing landlord in the Pittsburgh area. You're interested in Cleveland because, dude, it's 2021. We got an inventory shortage in Pittsburgh. We have an inventory shortage pretty much everywhere, right? This is definitely what we would call a seller's market. Now, in working with you thus far, Amalia, right, we've talked about some properties uh, that had really good numbers, okay, but but you were looking into these areas and you felt that the risk levels, the crime rates, things of that nature were a little bit out of your comfort zone. And that's great. That's awesome. That's what you need to be doing, folks, right? Every pot's got a lid, right? Some investors, they want to go for the most high-risk, high-reward type properties. Some people uh, don't want additional headaches in their lives and they want to go for really low-risk stuff because the, the higher the risk stuff... You know, you hear people sometimes be like, duh, I got some high risk properties, but I got strong property management. I don't care. They'll handle it. Yeah, it's great. Property management will handle it. And that, that's true. We take care of everything for you. Holton Wise, we, we will handle all the issues. But what those people sometimes forget is every issue, yeah, we'll handle it for a fee, right? We'll charge you for it, right? Like, that's what we do. So to people that just, like, completely disregard risk because they have a property manager, they're forgetting, yes, every problem can and will be solved by property managers, for money right so like it's not like it doesn't matter to you right you don't have to physically do it right but you're paying for it so you guys got to bear that in mind and that's why what we do uh at holton wise is we have the tenants from hell show right because people get blinded by the numbers and you know that's great i probably make the most money in the low income stuff okay but you have to understand uh you need to scale that big and you, you need to to build in those additional risk factors into it. So that's why the Tennis from Hell show is there to show you guys what it's truly like. So circling back to to, to what brought me to that, that long explanation, Amalia, you know, you saw some stuff and you wanted to go with some lower risk stuff, right? So uh, what I have for you today is a property in an incredibly low risk, high demand area that I think has got your name written all over it. This, I'm thinking, is the type of uh, rental property experience you're looking for. So let's jump into it after the commercial. Hey lenders, are you looking for more clients? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. All right, welcome back. Let's jump right into this property, okay? This I love this one. This is a solid deal. 12705 Thrush, Lakewood, 44107. The list price is $240,000. And right here on the screen, I have the existing rent roll, right? Three of the units are occupied. One is empty, right? We got this one at $650,000, $440,000, $400,000, and fairly rent ready, right? Now, this is the cool thing about Lakewood. For those of you that are new to the Cleveland market, uh, Lakewood is is not Cleveland. It's its own suburb, and it is almost night and day compared to Cleveland, it feels like sometimes. The uh, demand 
right, for rental properties in Lakewood is insane. Like, your vacancy is almost non-existent when you're in Lakewood. And the, the one vacant unit is freaking beautiful, dude. It's rent-ready uh, from what it appears on these photos uh, from the listing agent, of course, right? I haven't actually physically toured it. That'll be the next step of the due diligence, right? We'll get a home inspection for you. Uh, but from what I'm looking at, it looks great. And then you see some of the occupied units, right? The, the cool thing with Lakewood, is the vacancy is non-existent. The rents are much higher, right? Th those rents that I had just showed you uh, on the screen there, those are ridiculously low, right? Those must be like long-term legacy tenants. You got a mom and pop landlord running this thing. As far as what the rent should be, property like this, we are looking for $750 a pop, right? One-bedroom units. If we're in Cleveland, you need a two-bedroom unit to get you that price, right? Not in Lakewood, man. People want to live there, dude. It's close to the nightlife. It's a hip. It's a trendy area. Crime is much lower than Cleveland. This is a freaking, uh, this is like a trophy property, honestly, right? If you're going to be buying multifamily properties and you get the opportunity to get a freaking quad in Lakewood, you need to move quick, right? So it should on the long haul, be able to bring in approximately 36 k a year. Now, of course, you don't get to keep that, right? You don't get to collect rent 100% of the time. Even though there's barely any vacancy, we're still going to factor in for that, right? Lakewood, right? Not a lot of vacancy, but, you know, we're still... In the rental business, rent doesn't get paid every month, guys. It's just not how it works, no matter how trendy or cool the neighborhood is, right? So I anticipate spending like 18 Gs to operate this thing, leaving you with almost 18 as your NOI. For those who've been watching this show for a long time, you guys know I love quads more than any other property because it is the property that's going to allow you to maximize your residential mortgages, right? You only get 10 residential mortgages. You should always use that first one for your home, right? Your personal home where you're going to live. Meaning you only get nine mortgages, right? So do you want to use your nine mortgages to get nine single family homes and get nine rental income checks a month? Or do you want to use those nine mortgages to get as many units as you can, right? If you got four quads or nine quads, rather, I'm sorry. If you got nine quads, it'd be like 36 rental income checks, right? So I freaking love quads. My favorite. You're going to have to pay every bit of that 240000 that the listing agent listed it for. So if you did that, that'd be a 15% cash on cash return for the long haul man freaking solid deal just why we're in here for the pictures right looks like this furnace it's probably only like five to ten years old which is great these hot water tanks look to be in the same range okay you got all your electric panels it looks like we might need to do some updating uh for the electric panels but all in all the building looks to be in pretty good shape now do I anticipate it having like a brand new roof? No. Do I anticipate the home inspection report coming back like, yo, this is the greatest property I've ever seen? No, dude, it's over 100 years old. But what you're really buying here, you're buying a property that you could finance in the mo most efficient and profitable way. You're buying a property in an incredibly low-risk, highly desirable rental area. This, I would have uh, no hesitation to put in a full price offer on this, if not going above list price to make sure that I took it down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.